The body of kidnapped American computer engineer Bruce Morgenholt was discovered in a village in Peru this morning. Implicated in the kidnapping and failed ransom attempt is Hugo Lacerda, alleged leader of the People's Voice, a newly formed guerrilla organization. Here we see the USS Clarence E. Walsh en route to the Yellow Sea for her first assignment amid rising tensions in the region. Dubbed the flagship of a 21st century fleet by Defense Secretary Mason, who reaffirmed America's commitment to our Japanese allies. It is our hope that the presence of the Walsh, now the world's premier electronic and information warfare platform, will help defuse the tensions in the region. Information you recovered in Peru makes it look like Hugo Lacerda was contracted by a third party to kidnap and interrogate Morgan Holt. His payment was in weapons. He appears to be using those arms to equip his own men and pay off debts to other guerrilla groups. Maybe Lacerda is a nickel anti loser, but maybe he's learned some things from Morgan Holt that we don't want anyone to know. Maria Narcissa is out to sea, so there's no escape. Board her, search her, find out who Lacerda's been dealing with. And then, make sure he doesn't have an opportunity to spread what he knows. Fifth, freedom. What Morgan Holt knew about the mass kernels, recursive computation, and weaponized algorithms is akin to what Oppenheimer knew about atoms or what Turing knew about digital computers. Project Watson, the United Nations investigation into the mass kernels, will be remembered for centuries alongside the Manhattan Project as fundamental research that changed the nature of warfare forever. Imagine if Che Guevara had kidnapped and interrogated Oppenheimer in 1959, and you have a pretty accurate parallel of the situation we're in right now. We're going to send the helicopter out about 40 clicks ahead of the Maria Narcissa and leave you in the water on her course. You'll board covertly onto the bow. Search the ship and the holds. Find out what you can about the arms shipments and who Lacerda is dealing with. Satellite imaging shows the Maria Narcissa racks a small launch on the stern. That will be your primary extraction. If things go badly, we might be able to arrange to pluck you out of the sea. We'll keep the Walsh inside a helicopter range of the target vessel at all times. If something goes wrong, we should be able to assist in extraction. If you play it safe, we'll recover you in the ship's launch from open water once you're out of visual range of the ship. Alright, hey guys, we're back with some more Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. Alright, so now we're uh, we're going to board the Maria Narcissa. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. We're going to go full stealth, of course. Hugo managed to get away from us last mission, not a second time. Fisher, we just pulled up Celestinia's last dry dock report for the Maria Narcissa. They have a newly installed central alarm system. Don't tell me. Three alarms and the mission is over? Of course not. This is no video game, Fisher. You don't want the whole place alerted to your presence. Keep it under control. All right, so uh, there you go. You heard it from Lambert. This is not a video game. I am doing this for real. So let's go here and sneak up on this guy, grab him. He should have something interesting to say. Let's see. We'll bring him over here into the dark and interrogate him for questions and answers. Uh, what? Shh. What's the roster? How many men aboard? Total, there is 36 of us, here? I think. That's including Lacerda and a couple of mean looking mercenaries he brought with him. Where's Lacerda now? He was just here yeah. 20 minutes ago, complaining you. about his but quarters. He me. said he wanted another room. They look dangerous. Lacerda is probably drunk by now. Alright, so there we go. We got all the information we could out of him. Let's go ahead and choke him out, leave him in the dark. Nobody will find him here, I'm sure. Alright, now let's get on our way. Let's head this way. We're gonna ignore we're gonna ignore the guy over there. And we're just gonna head this way. What I like to do is uh you can kind of see there's like a crack in the uh containers here. I like to go through this crack right here. It's a lot quieter here, so you might have to move a little bit slower, but for the most part it doesn't matter. I don't think anybody can hear us from where we're at. There's only like two more guys, I want to say, in this area. We saw the first guy there. And the other guy is actually at the end of this place. At the end of the, the cargo here. We're going to be dropping down on the right side of the ship. Uh, unfortunately, I do not know all the uh, uh, Navy 
terminology or semen terminology. Hope I'm saying that right. So I don't know. It's like broadside or something like that. That's what pirates say, right? So maybe something like that. So let's go ahead and get on down here. There is a guy sleeping. You might be able to hear him. Yeah, sleeping. We're gonna go right on by this guy. He's uh not gonna be that big of a deal. I'm not sure actually. He might wake up in the event that you slide open that door because sliding open doors does make some noise so let's go ahead and just tase him in the face just to be super safe I, <laughs> Dude, I love that he's like <laughs> yeah that might not have been exactly what he did but it was that was pretty close right it's pretty funny though they it's it's so funny to sticky shock these guys that that's probably one of my favorite things to do in this game is to sticky shock somebody so you do got to be careful the guard does patrol down this way and i'm hoping he won't see us we should be okay because i don't see him yeah as you can see sliding open the door does make some noise fisher it looks like lacerda is spreading around his newfound wealth paying off debts with some of the arms that were delivered to him you want me to scan any more weapons crates Better idea. Plant tracking devices on them, and we can see who they end up getting delivered to. Okay. Look, I forgot you could even do that. That was like my favorite move. To uh, do the roll move. Good job, Sam. That's the first crate. Keep your eyes peeled for any more. Alright. Alright, so there you go. We're back to getting crates. This time I think we're placing trackers instead of scanning the barcodes. Fisher, we just intercepted a radio call from the Maria Narcissa. She's reporting a hull leak and asking for an escort. The ship is sinking. No, but apparently several compartments are flooded. You'll need to activate the bilge in the forward machine room to access all the cargo holds. Alright, so it looks like the ship is sinking. This could be bad. Fisher, those compartments are flooded. You need to activate the emergency bilge pump to drain them. Alright, so let's go inside here. We don't really have any other way to go. I don't think you can go through these doors at any time with the little uh, spinny wheel knob valve thing. So let's see, we're gonna have to go through this guy. Let's see if he knows anything while we're at it too. Noisy down here. Oh my! Makes it easy to sneak up on people. What is this hold? The auxiliary pump is here. There are some flooded compartments. The pump should be able to drain them. Thanks for the information. Alright, so it looks like this guy gave us some information about the auxiliary pump. Auxil what did I say? Auxiliary pump. And, uh, he gave us uh, some ideas of how we can get this water out of the way. I mean, they can't fix it. We might as well do it, so. I will slide this door shut. I mean, it's pretty unlikely that any guard is going to show up, considering how we had to get here. So, but we are going to be going through this ventilation system to continue. There should be a large pump in here that you can use to drain the forward cargo hold. I'll find it. Alright, so, looks like we are in the room where the pump is at, so we are making some progress. If I recall, I think there's also a guy. Yeah, there's a guy. That's it's so cool that you can see him through the vent with uh, the heat vision. That's, that's pretty sick. I like that. I'll be trying to keep the night vision going, because I did notice that last part, it's really dark. I mean, this is a dark game, but I thought you guys could see, because I can see uh, pretty decently, even without the night vision goggles, but I guess when you watch the playback, it is pretty dark, so you got to watch out for that. Um, so I'll be trying to keep the night vision going. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and jump on down this way. So we need to be touching that pump right there, but this guy is in the way. So what we're going to do is deactivate the light. We'll turn the night vision back on, get over here and touch the pump. We just need to touch it. Good job. That'll drain the flooded compartments. Now you can search for the bill of lading attached to Lacerda shipments. All right. All right, so the light's coming back on, but we managed to hit the pump. Which is good. So I'm going to try and get out of the light here, which is easier said than done. I can't even see it. There it is. Let's see if I can deactivate it again. That should help us out because we need to be going over this way and getting into this door over here. 
There is some light on the other side of this door, so you need to make sure that the guy upstairs there doesn't see you either. But we're going to be quick about it, so we should be okay. Yeah, he didn't notice anything. Oh, yeah, it's pretty dark in here, so I'll keep the night vision going. So we're going to move quickly right here, though. Uh, oh, wait, no, we're okay for now. I'm betting that Lacerda's shipping container is somewhere in this compartment. The bill of lading should be mounted on the side. I'll have a look around. Alright, so it looks like this is one of our objectives up here. We need to go up here and check out the bill of lading on this container. Good work, Sam. It looks like whoever delivered these arms to Lacerda was operating through a proxy. Who? Mercantil Costa Fuerta Seguridad de Panama. Offshore bankers? Yeah, the cigar chomping kind. Great. I love bureaucrats. You still need to recover the transit ledger so we can figure out who else Lacerda is dealing with. Try the ship's office. They should have that information. So it looks like we know where we need to go next when you go to the ship's office to retrieve some ledgers. But there are two guys coming. And you might think you wouldn't be able to avoid them, but there's actually a little shaft you can drop through right here. And now we're underneath them. They won't see us while we're under here, as long as we move quietly. There is two of them, so you got to be careful on that, too. So let's go under these pipes right here. Make our way around them. They'll keep going that way. That's why I recommend closing the door back. That way, if they notice that, that's something else I, I haven't pointed out yet. That you need to close the doors when you enter them, because people will notice that they're, uh, you know, that they shouldn't be open and they are open, and that'll get you into some trouble. So while they got their back turned, let's just go this way. We should be okay. Sensors in your suit are detecting a lot of fumes down there. Yeah, I can smell it. Some kind of gas leak. Could be enough to be a serious explosive hazard. We can't have any fire in the engine room. Wonderful. And don't expect the enemy to be smart enough to realize that. They might still open fire on you if they see you. I get the message. I'll be discreet. Alright, so uh, it looks like there's some gas leakage in here. If anyone opens fire at any point, we're going to have a big old bunch of problems. So what I like to do is try and sneak around this guy. We'll just wait right here for him to move. He'll get out of the way, and when he does, we'll go in behind him and climb up. We should be okay. Them two guys might see us. I'm not super nervous about it, though. If we hug this, it might help a little bit. Always going into cover, it reduces, I want to say, your lightness meter by, like, at least 2 or 10% or something like that. It's, it's pretty decent. So let's see if we can climb up here. Now, this dude always goes up to the third floor, and then this guy stays down here usually patrolling the second floor. It's pretty loud in this room, so you don't have to worry too much about... Uh, being detected via noise but uh this guy right here is the biggest pain in this room i can't uh, maybe that maybe that post is the biggest or this guardrail is the biggest pain in this room i couldn't get around that but um yeah it's that this guy usually yeah stacks up in some uh unfortunate or you know bothersome uh positions for his guard patrol so let's go ahead and move around while he we lucked out on that one. He didn't give us too much grief. Usually he likes to park it right in uh, the center of that last room and stare right at the, um, what is it, the stairs that we came up. So if you take too long, he might just see you coming up the stairs. you got to be careful about that. Oh, it's super dark in here. I might even go ahead and quick save for us, too, just to be safe. All right, and we've quick saved, and we're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and get the sticky shockers back out, too. We're going to be needing those. And I'll probably open this door. This is a bathroom. You don't have to go in here. But I like to have that door open because there is a guy on the other side. You can see here he comes. And I like to hide out in the bathroom. We'll go ahead and uh, what is it? Close, we'll close the door. I don't think he noticed that. We'll switch the lights off, too. And when he goes by... We're pretty much going to open the door back and sticky shocker the crap out of him. Alright, so he should be far enough where he won't hear us. But uh, there is something we need in the room that he's patrolling, so we need to make sure he's out of the way so we don't have to worry about him anymore. Where's he going? He usually doesn't go off that way, but I guess, okay, we'll taser him in the anus. And then he, he's out of the way. So that's one less guy we have to worry about. It can be real difficult to try and stealth around this guy, so I just like to take him out quietly. 
There are some guys above us, but they're kind of far out, so they're not really going to hear anything. So we'll leave him in the uh, in the toilet. If anyone comes to investigate, those assume he slipped off the off the bong there and uh, just bashed his head on the on the on the sink. That's what happened. I didn't do anything. When he wakes up with a big taser mark on his butt, he's going to be really concerned about that, though. So there is no other guards in patrol, but we need to be heading this way because we are going to find another crate in here and some sweet pinups or and pictures of the staff, I'm sure. Right, so here's our crate. That's like our second one, I think. So we're moving right along. I don't think I've missed one yet. I might have, but I hope not. So now we need to be heading upstairs. Turn those night vision goggles back on. Hopefully you guys can see. Sam, you're near the ship's office. This deck, starboard side. I'll find the transit ledgers there. That's where they should be keeping them. All right, so there is some guys in the next room, so don't go to the next room, but I'll... I'll check into this computer right here in case you guys want to read the email. I'll go slower this time. Last time I noticed that I went pretty quickly. But yeah, there's some guys, two guys talking. One's at a computer and one's standing there with a gun. He'll come this way, so what we need to do is crawl through this space right here and work our way around to the other side. And the files we're looking for, you can acquire them two different ways. By scanning the computer that, that uh, this guy right here is on, sitting at the desk, or by sneaking up behind him and there's a filing cabinet and you can get in there and get what you need. So uh, we're going to be uh, doing the scan option because uh, it, it feels way more futuristic and it's easier. Although both are pretty easy. I mean once that one guy goes away it's not too hard to just sneak up and get the filing cabinet if you want. So let's scan this. I want to say... Well, usually you can... Zoom, A, ah, okay, well, I can't get it to work, so let's just sneak up behind him, and we'll check the filing cabinet. The transit ledgers are forged. They say Lacerda's container is full of sugar cane and coconuts from a man named Nikaryakov in Malaysia. Nikaryakov. I remember that name. Nikaryakov is a code name that Philippine drug dealers use to indicate arms shipments. So instead of nuts from Malaysia, Lacerda got guns from an imaginary Russian? Exactly. Now why don't you go find out where Lacerda is hiding? The captain probably knows where he is. Good idea. Why don't you head to the bridge and ask? Alright, so here's another email here. I don't know if we read this one or not. Engine room, maybe. Uh, so there is another room over here. I don't think there's anything in this room. There's a guy in here, but as far as that, I mean, other than that, I don't think there's anything else of importance. I think there's a med kit in there, so in case you needed health, I guess that'd be like a place to get it. Something. Oh, someone... Saw something? I don't know who saw what. Oh, yep. Yeah, this guy. There, I forgot about this guy patrolling the hallway. He should turn around. Yep. And get out of our hair. That was a close one, though. Gotta watch out for those guys. Good way around that is use the optic cable. We haven't shown this off yet. And just see where this guy's going. Yeah, he'll go that way. Get out of our hair. He'll probably go back into that room. Okay, he's gonna stop for it. Yeah, there he goes. Okay, so now we're good to go. Let's go ahead and get out of here. You can sometimes stealth open the door too, but that's not for really avoiding being spotted. That's for like, um, uh, what is it? What is it called? Uh, not avoid uh, noise. It's to get away from the noise. So here's a another crate right here. Okay, Sam. Judging by the numbering on the crates, that's about half of them. See if you can find the rest. Alright, so it's about half, and I'm trying to think. Where was one, two, three? Okay, yeah, my math is right. We're on track, so we got all the ones we need. I'm trying to think where we want to go next. In here? Uh, yeah, we'll go in here. I think right here is where is a good spot to go. So, uh, if I remember correctly, this is the cafeteria. So that's pretty intense and sweet, right? I mean, everybody loves the cafeteria or the mess hall. Have you seen Lacerda? No, but I heard so uh, we're going to wait for these two guys to get done talking. We need to be waiting for the guy on the left to get out of here. He's going to go through the hallway that's uh, around where the camera's pointing right now. And then we need to be getting by the guy on the right because he's guarding our fourth crate. And the best way to get around him is to probably tase him in the ball sack. So uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. 
I'm gonna wait though. Don't want to go in yet, cause I think the guy. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for that guy on the left to get out of the way too, cause that's a dead end. He's gonna turn around and come back this way for too long. All right, so here comes this guy. That didn't take too long for him to get out of the way. And he's going to be going down that hallway, and once he's uh, done that, he'll be out of our hair. And he'll leave us to uh, taste his friend in the bow sack, like I said we were going to. Alright, so he'll go that way, and he usually takes quite a while on that way, but I think he will come back this way, so. Let's see if we can get a real good shot on this guy in his nutsack. That's more of the hand, but uh, from where I'm at, it's going to have to do. So yeah, right in the testicles. And there's the crate that we need, but I am going to be moving this guy's body. I don't want to leave him out here in the open. Come on, Fisher. Pick him up faster. Even, even though that dude's not coming back anytime soon, I want, I want to still be quick about it. I don't know if we can get a gun out or not. Oh, nope, we can't. I shouldn't have done that. I, I was thinking that you could at least get your pistol out while you're carrying a body. You might have to switch to it first. I'm not sure. Yeah, there's a freezer right here. This is where I like to hide this guy's body. No one ever goes in the freezer. And there's nothing in here either. They don't hide anything in here. This actually would have been a, a good spot to hide the crate, but I guess maybe a little bit unrealistic. Uh, that'd be an unrealistic place to put a crate, I guess. So we'll go ahead and close that door back. Let's make sure this guy isn't coming back yet. I don't think so. I think we're still good. So we'll place the tracker. Good job, Sam. Two more crates to go. Alright, so there you go. We got that one. Now we need to be heading this way. And this is the hallway that the guy went down, and I don't see him. Where'd he go? He might have went down there and started talking to his friends, so this would be a good opportunity to walk this way. There's none at the end of that hallway either, except for three guards, so there's no point in going that way. Alright, so uh, there we go. I think we got... One more, two more crates left? Yeah, there's one right there, too. We're going to wait to get that one and go this way. So we got two more crates. I like how they put these insert songs in, too. There's actually a guy in there just rocking out to the radio, so that's that's pretty funny. But we need to be heading up here. This is where the crate is. Or not the crate, the captain. This is who we want to be talking to. He has some information about where Lacerda is. So there on the left is the captain, and on the right, I guess, is the first mate or something. I don't know. Six minutes. Maintain speed. Si, senor. Scopes are clear. Si, senor. So, looks like they're going a little bit back and forth about directions and stuff. I'm just kind of waiting for one of them to get in position so that I can grab the captain. So the captain's going to come over this way. He shouldn't see me where I'm at. And we're just going to make our way up here and get our hands on him. We need to be interrogating him to find out where Lacerda or Hugo is. Alright, so let's bring him over here into the darkness. That's the best place to interrogate people. We'll go ahead and bring him into this corner right here. It should be a pretty good spot. I hear you have a special passenger tonight. What's that? Oh. I'm the guy who's here to cash the checks Lacerda's been writing. Where is he? That son of a... He was provoking my men, so I gave him my own cabin to shut him up. That's very kind of you. Be careful. He brought some personal bodyguards. They look dangerous. I'm not afraid of Lacerda's thugs. No, they're not Peruvian. They're Europeans, I think. Bros. Hmm. Thanks for the tip. The pleasure is all mine. <gasps> So Lacerda is holed up in the captain's quarters. Where's that? Third deck, port side. The two interior stairwells are the only access to that deck. Alright, so there you go. We now know where Hugo is. So we're going to go there and we're going to take him out. Like Sam Fisher said, we're here to cash the checks. He's been writing. So this is where I like to put the captain in the showers. That way if anyone asks, he just kind of fell asleep while taking a bath. No big deal. I mean, it happens to me all the time. So... No one would ever suspect a thing. All right, this guy's still rocking out. We're just going to go right on by this guy. No big deal. There's nothing in any of these rooms either, I don't think. So So now this is where we're... Uh, where is that crate? Where was it? I missed it, didn't I? Where is it? I'm lost and scared. There it is, yeah. So now we're going to grab this crate. Way to go, Fisher. One more crate to go. 
Alright, so this is actually the captain's cabin. This is where Hugo is. And um, the thing about this is you actually have to talk to um, the captain or interrogate the captain in order for Hugo to, to spawn in here. So that's why I didn't get that crate first. I just, you know. Because if you come here first, he won't be here. Never, never in my life have I been so insulted. I don't see why you're so upset. He got you past the inspection. You think it's easy to get through the canal zone with all the crackdowns these days? I don't care if it's hard. You think my job is easy? No. But this insult, forcing me to bribe an inspector out of my own pocket. No. This big shot, this vice president, Senor Segundo Ruiz de Medeiros. Ha! I'll show him. Fine. Mark my words. I'll make him pay. I'll make him pay double, or my name is not Hugo Lacerda. Great. I need another drink. All right, so there you go. That was Hugo's little rant. Now he's going to get him something to drink, and this is a perfect opportunity to take him out. So here he comes. He is in some sweet trouble now. Now where would that fat big stash is from? All right, so let's get this guy before he drinks up all the captain's rum. And we'll bring him in here. Don't make a scene. Uh, madre de Dios. Not exactly. But if it makes you feel better to pray. Please don't kill me. Please let me go. I won't tell them I saw you. You don't understand what's happening here, do you? Morgan Holt, your goons tortured him to death and I'm holding you responsible. Oh, no! It's not my fault! The only thing worse than a coward is a liar. You gave the order, and now you're gonna die for it. Please! First, tell me who contracted you to kidnap him. I... I don't know. I swear! I was contacted indirectly. I was warned not to try and find out. I'm a coward. Please! Good job, Fisher. I'll inform the Joint Chiefs that Lacerda is no longer a threat. Primary objectives are completed. We can extract you whenever you're ready. Alright, so now we're ready to get out of here. I, I find that if you take him into the bathroom, his two guns there usually won't hear anything. So, uh, you know, preferable way of taking him out, sure. Now we just need to get out of here. Uh, where is the exit? I think we need to be heading back this way, actually. And we'll head through this way again. And I want to say there's an exit door. Yeah, in the cabins. Uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the bridge. I think that's what they call it, right? That's what they call it in the Navy and when you're on a boat, the bridge. This is the bridge, right? This is where the captain hangs out. This guy still has not moved. He's still just chilling there, checking out coordinates or navigating or whatever. So I think we only have one crate left now. And that's pretty much all the way at the extraction zone, so. Which is this way, so we're going to be heading this way and getting out of here. So we need to be watching out. There's quite a few guards. I want to say four or five around here. So we're going to be watching out for them. I don't think any of them come down here. I could be wrong, but uh, we're going to be waiting for all of them to move. This guy actually might be coming down here right now. So, so let's go ahead and climb up here. Oh, wait, he's going that way. So, Well, that's no big deal then. Maybe I'll just climb back down. Now I look like an idiot. I thought he was coming this way. He's making me nervous. Because if they get close enough to you, even if it is dark, they can still see you. It's like they can kind of sense you when they're in front of you. So, gotta watch out for that. So, we'll be heading this way. I don't think there's any more guards. We're going to be heading down this ladder to the extraction zone. So, this is uh, where you can extract. And if we go up that ladder, it'll even say it. It'll say, you know, you want to extract. But we're not going to do that yet. What we're going to do is we're actually going to go back, we're going to go down one more level here. And there's a few guards around, but this is where the last crate is at. So we need to be going down here and getting it. Here it is right here, actually. Uh, come on. Enjoy it while you can. That was the last of the weapons crates, Sam. Now we'll be able to track them wherever they go and see just how connected Lacerda is. All right, so there you go. That's all the crates. Now we just need to find a creative way to get out of here. And, uh, let's see, maybe deactivating this light wouldn't, wouldn't hurt. Oh, not good, not good, not good, not good. 
how did that dude not see me? That's incredibly impressive on his part that he didn't see me. I was actually super nervous there. I thought he was going to see me for sure. So one thing to do that might help out is maybe a sticky cam or something. Get everybody's attention in this direction because they can create noise and now get everybody going in that way. You might have enough darkness here where you can climb this ladder, but I wanted to be extra safe. Make sure that they're definitely not paying attention to me in my area. So there you go. That's it. Now we just need to get extracted out of here. We're going to be using this uh, tugboat to do that. So there you go. Mission complete. That went pretty well. I did get super nervous there at the end, but it all worked out. Look, we got completed across the board. No cancelizations um, of any of the missions or objectives. And we did get Hugo. He escaped us once, but he couldn't do it twice. And there you go. There's our rating. Took 28 minutes. Knocked out five people. But, uh, you know, no big, no big deal. We didn't get spotted. No civilians were harmed. I think the captain and maybe the first mate there might count as civilian. I'm pretty sure they probably count as civilians. So if you knock, if you killed them, or well, it says civilians knocked out zero. So maybe not. So maybe they do count as enemies. But in my opinion, they're more like hostages because that one, the captain didn't even seem to like you go at all. But uh, no bodies found, no alarms triggered. That's gonna do it for this part. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, I am really enjoying this game. Like I said, Splinter Cell Cast Theory is a good game, and uh, I'm enjoying it. You know, it's it's pretty fun. I like these stealth games. Big stealth fan. But uh, yeah, like I said, hope you enjoyed this part. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.